Hey, Tube, it's Arkham Net Collector and Bistro West. And today we're going to be doing another Arkham Knight review. And today we're going to be do doing a review on Robin. And, uh, and this is figure number six. And, uh, this is a little different from the Batman review. And, uh, as you can see on the back, and this one's series two. Nightwing's figure number two, and we know Robin's figure number six. Oh, wait, no, Nightwing's is figure number five. Robin's figure number six. Catwoman is figure number seven, and Commissioner Gordon is figure number eight. And, you know, I already noticed from the Batman video, I already have this opened up. And so, now on to the figure. And as you can see, Robin is pretty cool. He's got pretty cool stuff all around. He, you can actually uh, do do his ab crunch, or whatever you want to call it. You can move his arms. You can remove his hand, but you can remove both hands. That's better than the Batman one. You could uh, you can't rotate his waist, but you could rotate his thighs. You can bend his knees. And the cape looks pretty cool. And I know in some Arkham Knight figure videos for Robin, the hood can go back a little, but one time I accidentally broke off his hood and I glued it back on and I don't want to get back. I mean, I don't want to break his hood off again. And, and B Bistro West is going to help me review the accessories. Accessories. Alright, the first accessory the the first accessories that we have are interchangeable hands. Hands. And like I said, you could switch hands kinda like Batman, but Batman has one hand. But Robin has more hands. More hands. Like open hands and closed hands. Open and closed. Okay. Now here are his gadgets. Sometimes Beach Roll West is silly. Alright, let me put Robin down. Alright. First is the Shuriken. And this is kind of a, a Robin Burr Batarang. I'll compare the one with Batman's Batarang. And um, I don't know which one looks cooler. I think the Batarang or the Shuriken. If if you think the battering is better or the shuriken is better, leave a comment down below. Alright, and uh, next, there's the bow staff. See, we have a bow staff closed, as you can see, the, there's the letter R for Robin. Now we have an open bow staff. And lastly, we have the bullet shield. And you can attach any bullet shield, I mean, attach any staff to the bullet shield. Sorry about the noise. You can either do the open or the closed bow staff. Alright, now Bistro West, what interchangeable hand do you want to put on Robin? Open hand. Okay, which one? Left or right? Left and okay. right. You sure? Okay. Alright. Ugh. I never actually pulled off Robin's hands. Ouch. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. Ah, man, it's hard. Ugh. You know what? Who cares about the hands? Sorry. Sorry, Bistro West. Ah, oh, so hard. <laughs> Stop laughing. Do you need some assistance? Yes, Bistro West. I would love that. See if he can get back on his hand. No, just just push it in. Let me see. You got it in. I know. That's why you always have to get a YouTube star like, Oh no! 
You ripped off his cape. I, I mean, I didn't touch his head. I only touched his arm. You oh might have done god. that. No, he didn't. Well, don't blame me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cut. I guess I guess that's the full review. Oh, um, also size comparison. And uh, I know uh, Batman's a little bit taller than Robin. Yeah, but who cares? This is pretty cool. And I'm gonna glue Robin's hood back on at the end of this review. Alright. And uh, let's take a review on both of the boxes. Bistro West, you hold this and I'll hold the Batman one. Sir? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes Bistro West talks like Alfred. I, I'll take that. And um, uh, if if you either like the Batman box or the Robin box, still leave a comment down below, I think, right there. Yes. Alright. This is Arkham Knight Collector and Bistro West. Signing out.